In this video I will teach you how the kilohertz channel mixer works. And you will also learn a cool Ableton panning trick. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, so this is what channel mixer looks like. And at first I thought it was going to be very similar to Ableton's utility, so let's open that up real quick. If you don't use Ableton, Utility is essentially a device that you can put on any MIDI or audio track to invert the phase of a signal, pan it, or adjust the gain or stereo width. But Channel Mixer is a little bit different, and it's also not quite like panning, which we will get to in a second. So let's first take a look at these two outside knobs, which are essentially panning. Let's play a chord. So essentially what we can do with this left knob is we can adjust the amplitude of the left audio channel. So if it's at 1, the left audio channel will be completely in phase and the gain will be all the way up. We can gradually decrease it to 0. Now the phase is completely it's, uh, silent. And we can go into the negative which will invert the phase. And I will open span here so you can see the phase and the stereo channels. And we can do the same for the right channel. Okay, so next up we have these two knobs in the middle, which are called right to left and left to right. They are pretty straightforward, but they work a little bit different than I expected them to. So I thought it was going to be similar to stereo pan in Ableton. If you didn't know about this, in Ableton, you can go to the panning knob and select split stereo pan by right clicking. And what this will do is instead of regular panning, which simply decreases the volume of one of the stereo channels, so for example, if I pan it all the way to the right, it will be uh, the left channel will be uh, completely silent. We can select split stereo pan mode, and if I then pan it, pan it all the way to the right, I will simply move the left stereo channel to the right stereo channel, and essentially combine them. So I thought this was going to do that, but it's actually different. So let's play a card and take a listen, and then I will explain what happens. Okay, so maybe you heard some things uh, going around your head or you, maybe you heard something messing with the stereo. So now I will explain what was actually happening. So if these knobs are set to zero, which is the default value, you will simply hear your normal signal. You can see if I disable it, it stays the same. But then if we set it to plus one, for example, this is the right to left. What it will essentially do is it will combine the right stereo channel with the left one. Uh, but it doesn't pan it. So in some way behind the scenes it compensates for the difference in volume while panning the right channel to the left one or combining it with the left one and still keeping it stereo. And we can also use the channel mixer to make a signal mono by simply setting both of these values to, uh, to plus one. Aside from making things mono, we can also invert the phase of a signal by simply doing this. And as you can see now, it is completely out of phase. If you want some more information on what is going on behind the scenes, you can go to the website of Kilohertz and right here you can see um, all the information about it. It's not too in-depth, so that is why I tried to explain it better to you guys. I hope you get how this works. Uh, I can definitely see some creative ways to implement this in your music. For example, by splitting reverb across different sp stereo sp fields. So for example, you can add a different reverb to the stereo channel then to the mono channel or you can phase invert some things for example if you put an ableton this in an ableton rack an effect rack open it up 
you can add a dry chain with no effects on it. And then for example, we could add a reverb right there. And we can then mess with the face of only the reverb channel if you make it 100% wet. There's definitely a lot of creative ways to use this and it is completely free, so why not check it out? In fact, I recommend installing the entire Kilohertz Essential Toolbox. This is not sponsored, but I genuinely love this. You can see you have all these effects which are free and some of them are actually pretty good. If you want to see another video I did about Kilohertz plugins, you can click the pop-up banner right there. And if you want to know what this sound is that I uh, showcased this with, this is a pad for my pack Pads for Serum, which you can get on my website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in a future video soon. My name is Matt Flank. Peace out.